right, there we go. Hey, it's your boy from 1996. Welcome to another episode of Low Standards. In this episode, we'll be counting, they will be countering. We'll be playing a game that I have on my phone for some time. I just realized the Bluetooth controller has been disconnected, so let me go reconnect that into the thing. Thank goodness my Bluetooth devices can connect more than one thing. It would be problematic if I wouldn't be able to connect everything in there. I had a bit of recording problems, but I managed to solve all of them with the power of, like, logical deduction. We've been playing this game for a bit. Unfortunately, during my practice recording, not my practice recording, but the recording I thought was happening until I realized it didn't happen at all, I just went out defeated a giant zombie boss, which I believe I thought previously playing this game. I usually play this game specifically on my uh, Amazon Fire tablet, because I want to get a game that, um... Allow the gamepad controls, and this one seemed to fit the bell right. The only downside, I think, is when it comes to playing on gamepad, your movement option of turning when shooting is very slow. Oh, I, I, I just realized I need to... Ah, uh, stop it, sir. But, anyways, that's what I'm saying. I was able to gain my save data via making like, an account into this game. And thus, I have the ability to play all where I left off on my uh, tablet. I'm going to play uh, out on my phone for a bit from now on, just because I can get on the go and I can play on a big screen. Unlike what my Amazon Fire Tablet can do, unless it's like a Fire Stick option or something. Anyways, in this mission, uh, there's like various missions you can do, though it's like a uh, specific mission type that usually happens. I've done all of them. I guess it's like it's not like what we have to actually export or protect our NPCs because I don't think they have the programming to do that until I think when they develop the second game for Dead Triggers. I also gotta notice that um, the game doesn't fully fit on this TV, which, just to be fair, you can never get like the right ratio sometimes. I'm not gonna fix that because I don't really need to. You see most of the game just right. Hey! Stop it! Yeah, the armored zombies are like the most annoying I've been encountered so far playing this game. Just because you have problems trying to get rid of them. Just because you can't really get a good hit stun on them due to their armor. Which can't really tell like what's a weak point for them since you can't attack their heads. Yeah, there's this airport area, which I believe is new to me or I've been here before, but I thought it was a doctor place. Oh, I never mind, I've been here before. Um, I played this game for some time. I've gotten most of the gun weapons. I have, unfortunately, or stupidly, have paid at least a, like a few dollars just to get uh, a certain power for this game. That power up being um, uh, the uh, the uh, auto heal upgrade, which you can get for your character for like 500 gold, which is like the in-game currency and also payable currency you can get to get more. Just everything is paid with gold bars, not gold something, gold bars. Because that's what's been used for currency for life. I didn't activate my chainsaw. Most of the weapons I got here are all like the money option weapons. Which is fine. I decided to go for machine guns because that has like a lot of ammo, therefore I'll be able to really hold them back long enough to get more ammo. The chainsaw pretty much wanted to slow by the fill of a weapon that's like more melee focused, because there is no melee in this game unless you buy a melee weapon, which I believe the chainsaw is the only one that goes really up close with you against the zombie enemies. Against the zombies. Right, okay, give me a second, sir. I didn't see you on the radio that well. It had to be one of those armored ones. Uh, joke's on you, I have auto heal, which will apply eventually. Eventually. Gonna play at least like three missions or four missions. It was gonna be four, which was with the, the boss one I was doing, where it's like a certain specific. But after the whole, I didn't record thing because the SD card wasn't properly inserted. I just decided just to go with three missions. This game takes a little while, depending on what mission type you're playing. You think like it's a few minutes at the best. It's not super long, but at the same time, I don't know. How, I have 34 minutes, so I can't really appropriate how much uh, footage I'll be able to get before the thing turns itself off. Well, at least I now have most ammo now, since I realized that uh, ammo has been dropping for some time. And my guns are refilled because they're not in the red anymore. 
Oh. I think I've got to go through here now for my last package. Of course, that was a closed off area, but I was wrong. <clears throat> oh, goody, it's actually close to the uh, drop off point, so it's a lot easier to get to compared to the, every other package I've done so far. I like that my health is already full, as you can see there. I did it! I've defeated you all with the power of walking slowly but having a lot of ammo. So, you know, that works. The most favorite gun, the Uzi, because I was holding it for the longest of time. Alright, until the game can see a proper mission, I'll have to go play these other missions. Sweep the area and secure the useful items. We did that task just now, and I'll try a different mission. Defend Supply Destruction. This one's a, um, a protective, uh, a Defend the Point mission, where you have to go to this area and protect it. And, um, or two areas sometimes, usually that's the case with these things. And, uh, whenever they're damaged by zombies, which they'll eventually attack, I just need to go ahead and go in this direct square area to repair them. Back then, I had no clue how to do it, but once I found out how to do it, well, it became, like, easy sauce. Oh, they're already damaging the one up there because the last time I was going to spawn there earlier ago. What the? Ah, I see, I've killed their legs, therefore you're still vulnerable to attack me. You're still able to attack me. Alright, I'll probably repair them more easily once I get rid of every zombie for the entire. until the next spawning point. It's better than having to go back and forth, back and forth in terms of repairing these things. Reload. Yeah, the mission's supposed to go with either protecting this stuff, grabbing this stuff, or just defending your point from zombies. As in, like, you're not repairing anything, you're just fighting zombies, and that's it. Just don't die. Yeah, I'll give you a second there, I wasn't rolling this up there. Ah, uh, here we go again with this thing, hold. Well, there we go. At least he's stunned by just walking through my chainsaw. See what I mean? Like, there's a, there's a lot of hit stun with this thing, so it's really useful. Hey, no one's taking in. Get out of here. So far, so good. I am. I think I have problems so far. Oh, it's to do the bites from the previous match, but you know, won't last that long because I have auto heal. It's probably like the perfect feature you should probably try getting to start of a game like this, especially with the with the, like the restrictive turning because I'm not using a touchpad. You're standing there, sir. I have no choice. You are just standing there. Uh, could you go down, please? Literally killing my run. Fuck. I did it. Even though that one's not in full percent, I still did it because I, I ran out the clock. Very nice. I, I succeeded in fighting more zombies. Alright, that one's a supply mission. It's hard to move this thing if you're using, like,